Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jamea's Promo and today we will be unboxing and I'll give you my first impressions as it's also my first look at the brand new Google Pixel 6 Pro along with the Pixel 6 Pro case. Now I do want to give a big thank you to the folks over at Google for adding me onto Team Pixel, sending these devices off at launch uh, or right before launch because these phones are amazing. Everybody knows that I use a Samsung phone, but when it comes down to a additional or second phone, I do love having the Google Pixel phones with me. This one's the Google Pixel 5a. This is the one that I take if I want to take some really good photos and I want to make sure that I have good battery life that lasts all day. Now I do have this one connected over inside of Google Fi, so it's using the eSIM card. So then this way I don't have to keep on you know switching over that physical uh, sim so basically once this thing is opened I'll be able to re-download Google Fi log in and basically everything moves over to this phone so again this is gonna be my first look the first impressions uh, and then right after this what I'll show you is the the differences between the Google Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 Pro if you guys don't really know exactly which one you're going for now this one right here is the color of sorta sunny it's a 6.7 inch display, 128 gigs of internal storage. Uh, again, this is the 6 Pro. So let's open this up. And I'd have to say it looks really good in person. I know it looks good on camera, but I feel like it almost looks better in person with these vibrant colors, especially with all the different lights that I have, you know, coming on to <laughs> this device right here. Now it does have quite a bit of weight to it. So this thing definitely feels premium in the hand. It has a little bit of weight to it, but again, sometimes you kind of put quality with weight. Now it does not feel anything like the Pixel 5a. When it comes down to the Pixel 5a, I had a case on it, but I took it off because I like the feel of it without the case better. It just feels good in the hand, a good grip, and something that um, I guess doesn't feel as fragile as this one, but this one you'll definitely want to throw a case on it so you can also protect your camera bump right there. Uh, if, if you want to call that a bump, this is a huge rectangle just coming on out. But again, if you want to have something that has amazing cameras like this one does, it's going to be really hard to put it into a very, very small casing. So when you, you know, when you take a look at some of these cameras, you're going to have a 50 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And then when it comes down to the pro, you'll have a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. So you'll be able to have a four time optical zoom uh, and then a super res zoom up to 20. So, you know, when it comes down to the Pixel 6, you will not have this third additional camera here of that 48 megapixel telephoto, but you will have the original two, which is 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel ultra wide. So setting that to the side right over here inside the box, you will have this little adapter here. So you can plug it into the bottom of the phone. You also have USB-A. So if you needed to do any transfers or anything like that, it's a really nice tool to have with you. Uh, this one's gonna be your USB-C to USB-C. And then this piece up here, it probably is just going to be maybe like a quick user guide or start guide. And that's really everything that's inside of the box. So this is gonna be something that you'll definitely wanna keep outside the box. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these ones sitting right there. Now we're gonna also take a look at this case just to throw a case on it, just so then this way it's gonna be a little bit more flat when this is sitting on the table. So let's get this thing out. So for this case, it does have a little bit of a give, which is something that you want. If you have a case that is super, super stiff, then that means you're not going to have a give when it drops. So you want to have a little bit of that, but not too much. If it's too flimsy, then it's obviously not going to protect your phone. Uh, but again, this one has you know a pretty good feel to it. So I'll keep the case on it for right now, just to kind of give you my first thoughts on this, then we'll take it off just so then this way you guys can see the color and all the back and everything else. But this one feels really good. The case is protecting your camera module right there. As you can see, uh, it's gonna be just a little bit more of a, of a bump right past the camera. So this way, if you do set your phone down, the camera module is going to be protected. Now, I like the feel of when you hold on to this, it has a really good width to it. Uh, when it comes down to the case, the buttons feel really good. They're clicky, which is something that you wanna have. So then you know for a fact that you are in fact touching the volume rocker uh, you know and the power button things like that so the rubbery portion of this I do like the rubbery feel I feel like it's not going to bump or slip out of my hand if somebody was to run into me now when it came over into the pixel 5a you know I like the back of it just the way that it felt because it didn't feel like glass which meant slippery so I feel pretty you know comfortable holding it within the hand and it's the same feeling here except for just a little bit more rubbery a better grip uh, than what the 5a is and especially a better grip when you're holding on to it uh you know 
versus without the case. So this is going to be a really good thing if you guys are taking a look at, you know, different cases. If you want to get something that will protect the phone and also have a really good feel if someone was to bump into you or if you uh, sometimes have slippery hands if you're about to drop it. I think this right here will definitely keep your phone safe. So how about we turn on this phone and then what we'll do is we'll take a look at the differences between the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Now, I do have to say when it comes down to, uh, you know, the keyboard and all the accented colors, it's really nice that it's kind of matching my the back of the phone. So with like Material U, when it comes out to, you know, changing the colors, you know, based on your background, I'm sure my background of this phone is going to be maybe similar to this color, uh, similar to this color right here. So it's really fun that you know, they match the phone, the, the, the hard physical device, you know, that you actually hold in your hand. It's matching, uh, what is going on with the software of the phone, which I think is actually pretty cool. So again, let's, uh, go through here and let's get this thing connected. So as the phone is setting up right now, I want to take you over into the Google store. We'll do a really fast breakdown of the differences between the pixel six and the pixel six pro. When it comes down to the pro, you have three colors. You have that cloudy white. You also have sort of sunny and then that stormy black. So if you go to compare phones, this is the best place and really the only screen we're going to go to for this portion of the video. Uh, so you have the Pixel 6 Pro and the Pixel 6. So basically the difference is going to be $300. So your Pixel 6 is at $599. The Pixel 6 Pro is at $900. So if you want to look at the colors for the Pixel 6, you'll have the Sorta Sea Foam. You also have Kinda Coral. And then again, Stormy Black. They both have that Google Tensor chip. And really a fast overview. The Pro is a 6.7 inch display versus 6.4. It'll have one additional camera in the back. So it's a triple rear camera system. So it'll give you that 48 megapixel telephoto camera. So if you want to zoom in, uh, you have a four time optical zoom. You're going to have a little bit more RAM. So it's 12 gig of RAM versus 8 gig of RAM. Uh, the construction's a little different. The polished alloy frame versus the tactile alloy frame. Now, this is the other difference is going to be the battery size. So they both do offer wireless fast charging, uh, but the size of the battery uh, is going to be 5,003 milliamp hours versus 4614 milliamp hours. And then they both obviously have the fingerprint built in the screen uh, with the Titan M2 chip and security core. So if we if we take a look at this just a little bit closer, even though it has a larger screen, you're also getting that quad uh, that, that quad high definition high definition. So it's the QHD plus with the LTPO smooth display, which means that you can go from 10 hertz up to 120 hertz. Now when it comes down to the Pixel 6, you'll only have 60 or 90 with that full HD plus. And then also, again, we talked about that camera. So they both have the 50 megapixel wide. They both have the 12 megapixel ultra wide, but the pro is the one with that 48 megapixel telephoto. Uh, and then when you take a look at the sizes, it lo there looks like there's a storage option for 512 and then 256. But my guess is that it's, it's maybe released at a later date or it's dependent per carrier. Um, and then, you know, we pretty much covered all of this. So what is the difference between the 600 and 900, which is a $300 price difference? You're going to get 0.3 inch bigger with a better uh, quality of screen resolution. You're going to have better refresh rate when it comes all the way up to 120 hertz and it can go down to 10. You'll get that additional camera in the background, additional RAM, a little bit better build quality and a larger battery. Now heading back over into the Pixel 6, the setup is now finally complete. And so what you're going to have is going to be an optical reader. You're not going to have the ultrasonic fingerprint reader. So it's more of like a light based. So it's probably not going to be as fast. But again, I don't think we can really talk about too much of that just yet. But here's the home. As I was mentioning from before, I kind of figured my background would be similar, you know, going with that whole material you set up that it's able to match my phone. And so not only is everything, you know, matching right up over here when it comes down into the settings, things like that, um, but it's going to to be matching, especially if you're using your keyboard, all the, the, the text, the typing, things like that. So for example, let's say that we you know look at this uh, typing screen here. You can see from where it was showing from before when I was putting in my password uh, that it matches not only the material U, which is the wallpaper, but also matches the phone, which again, I think is really cool, which is also why I wanted to explain this portion you know, with this video here, because we can't go into the phone. We can't play with it too much. You know, we can show off the home screen, things like that, but we can't do full on in depth comparisons, things like that. But, you know, the, the phone is working good. It's flawless. Uh, it's quick. But again, nothing is really on it just yet. Wasn't really able to put everything there. Uh, but if you guys are interested and curious on, you know, more and more of my thoughts 
on this device, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Uh, and also too, hit that bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So that is it for this video. We can't really go in depth just yet. I am super excited to play with the cameras. I'm excited to play with some of the software that's a part of this device. Uh, and I also like the fact that it has a refreshed camera look because all the other pixels pretty much look the exact same. And so now when you take a look at the back of this phone, you know exactly which phone it is. Uh, so it really has that, that appearance factor. People know what you're holding when they take a look at the back of the phone. Sometimes you take a look at the front of the phone, uh, you might not know exactly what it is. Um, but again, that is the video. Feels good, feels premium, really good price. When you take a look at a Pro and it's sitting at $900, you're getting a lot of phone for what you pay for. And when it comes down to the regular Pixel 6, uh, even though you're not having as big of a battery, even though you're having a little bit of RAM, which is still eight gig of RAM uh, and one less camera sensor on the back. And sometimes people don't use telephotos. Uh, you're getting a really big bang for your buck when it comes down to that 599 price point. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit and subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.